Well, the African Union says it's working with member states to reinforce its emergency fund intended to assist African states affected by drought, famine or other crises. The AU's emergency fund, however, is currently unable to provide financial assistance for member states due to a shortage of funds. CGTN's Grim Chala sat down with the AU's Food Security Division head and he started by asking why the fund is not fully operational. In well, general terms, yes, the fund had been in place and of course it had been utilized in terms of addressing some other emergencies um, on the continent. And of course the funds are rather very low um, at the moment. And usually it's also voluntary contribution um, from our African Union member states. So we have actually been raising a call uh, to ensure that the funding uh, could be replenished. But also we would like to use this opportunity uh, to call upon the international community as well who can also give direct support uh, to the African Union member states who are already beginning to experience um, this challenge. But work is going on now in terms of raising awareness, in terms of working with our member states and ensuring that um, the funds can also be made available again to be able to address some of these um, emergency situations. Now that the emergency fund is not able to provide the much needed assistance for member states who are suffering from the drought or famine situations in this continent, what is the next plan? Uh, for the African uh, Union right now, the African Union Commission to be very precise, we are beginning to go through the second generation of the national agricultural investment plans of our member states. You might recall the Malabo Declaration, uh, where we're talking about issues of agricultural transformation and improved livelihoods for our citizens. So right now we're working very closely with our member states in developing the second generation of the agricultural investment plans. And within these investment plans are uh, where we really now need to begin to capture the issues and the essences in terms of ensuring that there is adequate data for early warning to be put in place. And also once it's captured within the plan, then there is a possibility of budgeting being made available at the member states level. So it does not necessarily have to become an emergency anymore, but it becomes, um, it becomes a process through which these challenges can be addressed very quickly as it comes. And also at the level of the AU Commission, we do have the monitoring of the environment uh, program, the MESA program, Monitoring of the Environment uh, for Security in Africa. And within this program, we are also able to generate data in terms of the magnitude of, the, of, of any drought or any famine that is oncoming, and we are able to share this data uh, with our member states. And we are also able to provide some technical assistance uh, to our member states. And we also encourage our member states, and we can facilitate working with them to set up appropriate institutions. For example, like here in Ethiopia, you already have the, the emergency drought agency that's been put in place. And through this as well, funds can also be channeled appropriately, particularly if there are funds coming from, from partners. This can be channeled appropriately if those kinds of institutions and mechanisms are already in place in countries. So it becomes more of a systemic approach to addressing the challenge rather than making it an emergency continuously.